you don't really interview Lee Scratch Perry. It's an encounter. Are you okay? Me? Yes. I'm great. I'm just watching you. Do you know that I'm crazy? Are you crazy? Are you really crazy? I'm 100% crazy. I don't think you're crazy. I'm not lazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, to I'm totally mad. <laughs> <laughs> Don't expect much more clarity from the Vision of Paradise, which premiered at the East End Film Festival last night. Shot over 15 years, it isn't really a biography of Lee Scratch Perry, they call it a fairy tale documentary. But it does return him back to where his music began Jamaica. <laughs> Lee Perry developed an almost metaphysical cosmos of music. He used the first sample and recorded TV shows as part of the mix. He collected a pile of rhythms onto which all the different singers could record new versions. The studio equipment was not professional, but the sound was phenomenal. The revelation of the reggae. He built the famous Black Ark studio in his backyard in the 70s and destroyed it too. Why did you burn down the studio? I didn't want to have any of the ska artists and the rocksteady artists in my community anymore. I ripped them off my, off my flesh, ripped them out of my blood. So was a room where even Bob Marley used to live and stay. <laughs> who, who gets into the room? Yeah? Yeah? No one. In that golden era of reggae, Perry worked closely with Bob Marley, producing some of his most famous early recordings. But like their music, their relationship was explosive. I will never go to Bob Marley and ask him a favor. I will never go to Bob Marley and ask him, I tell him I want to work with him. Why not? I didn't do that, and I would never do that. He do that. And he left you, you mean? He left me. Is that what you mean? Eh? Is that what you mean? I, I would say who rip off, who I think he tried to rip me off. Perry became a pioneer in dub. After I see so much people making copies of my original music, singing ugly words and my original music, I say, OK, I can break a while and say, right, what should I do? God said, give the reggae to Bob Marley. And let's make a new thing in the studio called dub. But was it you? Did you invent dub? That's what I am. You said it. I'm an inventor. I didn't even know that, but it's a true to speak. So what is it? Can you tell me? Can you define for me what is dub? I want to ask myself, the dub is the heart. The heart represents the bass, the drum. Boom, boom, boom. Ba, 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 bam, bam. And the other part of the dub is the... Pe people love you in this country. I love they? them too. Why, do you think they understand you? If they didn't understand, they would not love me. <laughs> they know I am pure magic. Pure magic, mirror, magic, mirror, mirror science. Look at my boots. You made these? The, I, 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 everything I buy, I do it. Now he's I'm moved away from the mixing writing. desk, but even approaching 80, like Lee I Perry like never stops performing. I'm a soul man. I got the music in my soul. And I'm an old man, but I never get old. Ah. 